Okay guys, today I want to talk to you about the top three reasons why training to failure just isn't necessary most of the time. Okay, so reason number one is that it often leads to injury, right? So if I'm failing an exercise because it's so heavy, most of the time injuries happen there because we practice bad technique or end up in a poor position there. Okay, so injuries, reason number one. Reason number two, it's just really not necessary to see results. Honestly, you could be in the 75 to 80% range in terms of difficulty for your exercises, and over time, you will definitely get great results as long as you are staying consistent, okay? So that means when I finish my 10th rep of my set, I can finish with proper technique and be at about 80% difficulty, okay? Reason number three, longevity, okay? We all only have so much energy, so if we're training at 90 to 100% effort all the time, you are going to run out of energy, you're gonna lose motivation, potentially get hurt, sick, or all of the above, okay? So again, guys, these are just three of the top reasons why training to failure just isn't necessary. Love to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or even if you disagree, uh, we'd love to have a conversation about it. Otherwise, guys, hopefully you're having a great day, and we look forward to seeing you in the gym sometime soon.